بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله as we've mentioned on more than one occasion that the call in Islam the primary call is to توحيد الله is to the worship of Allah سبحانه وتعالى alone ولو كريه الكافرون ولو كريه المشركون ولو كريه الأهل البدع that this primary call, regardless of what disbelievers call to, and no matter how much many of them detest the call to Tawheed, and even those mushrikun, those people who are polytheists, that worship elephants and animals and the sky and the sun and the moon, no matter how much they detest it, and no matter how much Ahlul Bida from the various sects that are within the fold of Islam. But however many of them, they begin their call with many other concepts, whether that be takfir and, and going in rebellion against the Muslim ruler, whether that be uh, just the prayer and belittling aspects of tawheed and belittling the real call to knowledge and the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, whether that be their call and their primary focus is, is that of uh, calling people to political uh, agitation and participation and uh, other various calls where many of the du'at begin their call. But Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, they begin their call with the call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they end their call with the call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaykh al-Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamu, he said, Da'wah to Ahl al-Sunnah, Da'wah to min kitabillah ila kitabillah, wa min sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, ila sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. The Da'wah of Ahl al-Sunnah is Da'wah from the, from the Qur'an to the Qur'an, and from the Sunnah to the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, I've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. So that we know that our primary purpose, our primary goal is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَلَكَدْ بَعَثْنَ فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رُسُولٍ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبُوا تَعْبُوا I've sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and to avoid those false deities worship besides him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِشَيْنٍ Worship Allah alone and, and do not associate any partners with him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed worshiping him and him alone. He negated shirk in all of its manifestations and forms. So how is it that we could begin our call in Islam to other than that call? To other, with the importance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord and the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who you worship, he, tabarak wa ta'ala, lets us know that our, the purpose we're created for is to worship him and him alone. So how is it we can begin our calls with all of these other false calls and based upon false ideologies and false concepts and false theories and false theorems and all kind of ideologies and new ways of thinking Instead of going back to the primary call articulated by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and given as an example by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam who called to tawheed, he called to tawheed, and in Mecca he established tawheed with his his followers, his companions, رضي الله تعالى مجمعين, and just taught them to build their iman. Islam came in stages. But it always began with Tawheed. And Islam began strange, and it will return as something strange. So give glad tidings to the strangers. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.